gentlemen. Word to the wise, if you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. But, woke up this morning, Brito calls me and is like, hey, let's go do something crazy. I said, all right. So we just jumped in the truck, we drove down here to Hillsboro, never dove this area. We have no experience, but we have our boat, and we're just gonna go explore. We're gonna try to spearfish for something. Maybe look for lobsters, lionfish, snapper, grouper. Who knows? So we just ran down here, found a couple little patch rocks. What I mean by patch rocks are, they're just little boulders, little cracks in the bottom. I'm not looking for a big, huge, elaborate reef. We're just looking for a little bit of structure. And I know me personally, I'm looking for lionfish, mangrove snapper, sheep's head, stuff like that. I'm not looking for something giant. I'm looking for dinner. Good shot. That's called a dog snapper. And to me, to see Albury and his daughter Lauren out here spear fishing together, having a good time, that may not be the biggest fish in the world, but these are memories in a re building relationship that will last a lifetime. So when we take this fish home, we'll clean them whole, we'll cook them, and we'll enjoy them as a family. But more importantly, I'm about to put on my gear and I'm gonna get in the water because I've been running the boat long enough.
got eggs, we'll let her be. This is one of the best eating snappers ever. You always find them around a live reef. Dog. Show them the difference, Lauren. Dog snapper, the main feature, they have the yellow fins like the schoolmaster. They both have the yellow fins, but the dog snapper has these blue teardrops right under their eye. Blue teardrops. See, no teardrops, they have this brown band and they have these vertical stripes. Also got the yellow fins. Schoolmaster, Dog snapper. to come dive in today and catch a lobster, but she's doing some work in my office making me like a really cool wall. So I promised her I was gonna bring her back a lobster for surf and turf, baby. Get on the hero with one catch. All right, y'all. We may not have set the world on fire today, but I can tell you what, this just goes down as another epic memory with my brother, my niece, my crew. We came down here, we didn't know where we were gonna go. We just looked on Google Earth, looked on our chart plotter, and came out, find some rocks, got a couple snapper, a toro, and a lobster. But we were not sitting on the couch. We were proactive, we had a lot of fun. And Sarah will be very happy. Now we're gonna head back to the house, clean these fish, and we will be cooking in about two hours from now. We'll see you there. Y'all, we just made it back to the house, and I gotta say, I love living out here, having the dock with the water right there. I actually rolled up, there was an alligator here, but um, Lauren did a really good job of explaining the difference between the dog snapper and the schoolmaster. So we'll start off with the dog snapper. All we're gonna do is take this and scale them. This one, we're going to cook whole, very carefully cut into that dorsal spine there. There's a reason I'm doing that. One, when you cut these out, then you it, it helps you, it allows you to cook into the fish and through the fish much more evenly. There you go.
perfect. Now, you're not losing any meat, but you are getting rid of all those bones. Now that fish is perfectly cleaned. No scales, no innards, no gills, ready to go. The old uh, schoolmaster is gonna be much easier. I'm just gonna fillet him, but I'm still gonna eat all of the fish. So nice having a knife that cuts well. That's one filet. Come in here. I'll be there. Throw the skin away. Do the same thing on this side. So that was our fish that was cleaned whole. This one we filleted, but we left the backbone. Might not look like there's a lot of meat on there, but there absolutely is. And we're gonna cook both of these and show you the difference. But first, I wanna show y'all what the old Big eyed Toro looks like. Their skin is like really, really, really tough. A lot of people consider this a trash fish, kind of like a grunt. But for those of us who have eaten them, we realize they're a delicious, delicious fish. There you go. Look at that. That's the big eye Toro, that's the snapper. Snapper has darker meat than the Toro does. Hey, let's go inside and cook these rascals. We're gonna make cauliflower, a wedge salad, and then we have our lobster, all of our fish, and then my good friend, Corey Shea, he just came by. They look a little milky right now, but these are fresh sea scallops. And uh, let's get to cooking, you guys. First things first, let's steam this rascal. Pop it in here. Take a little bit of Everglades Original. Put it right on top, just like that. And that will just percolate down into it. Over here, only thing we're gonna use, I know this comes as a shock to most of you guys, Everglades Fish and Chicken. It's like one of those epic all around good seasonings. We're not flouring anything. With your whole fish, I like to like put some of this down inside there. Basically, you want this spice and that fish to become best friends. They're like that. Take our fish and just lay them right here. Perfect. You don't want it to be super hot. You just want it to be nice. While I cook this fish, I want to encourage a lot of you to don't overshoot your goals. Make your goal when you're going out there fishing or hunting to have a good time. Like today when we went down there, I had very low expectations. Aubrey was like, come on, let's go. I was like, all right. I never really anticipated shooting a bunch of big fish. But what I did anticipate is just enjoying my time with Brito Mas Grande like we were kids again. So. And we were. And we were. We were, except we weren't yelling that much. So that's <laughs> kind of kind of weird, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, no one got gaffed. No one got gaffed. No one threatened to like beat the other one up. Nothing like that. So see how my tail doesn't want to fit? So all I'm gonna do is take me some ch kitchen shears, cut it off and throw it in the grease. Just like that. If you've ever eaten whole fish, the crispy tail might be the best part. I'm gonna tell you this. Mm, that pan is warm. Take that rascal, put him right there. Just like that. Gallops. Thanks, Corey Shea, appreciate it. I don't know if this is the proper way to be cooking them right okay. now. So he said they're so fresh that he was eating them raw. All you do is sear the outside and that's it. Ooh, they firm up nice as soon as they hit the heat. Look, look how fresh the lobster tail is. You know it's fresh when it's waving at you. Oh my gosh. 
these things are going to be phenomenal. Just making a little wedge salad here. Iceberg lettuce, cherry tomatoes, carrots. This is what it's all about, you guys. So people who think hunting and fishing is just about going out and catching something are missing the point. Hunting and fishing is about going out, creating memories, and coming back with a meal for the family. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for our friends and our family, and thank you for a, a fun, safe day out on the water. Lord, please nourish this food to our body and forgive us of all of our sins. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I just had to do that. Yeah, good deal. Let's see what you think. Eat that fish and tell me what you think. Y'all see that right there? Crispy tail. It's almost like french fried, but it's better. Mm. That was so crunchy. That's the best part about fried fish is the tail. Mm. Are you kidding me? When, if you're not so timid, Aubrey. Hey, I'm enjoying it. I'm Yo, savoring it. It's not a glass of red wine, bro. It's just a fish tail. It's not a black crappie tail. I think the crappie tails are better. No way, bro. Those scallops are really good. Listen, Corey Shea, you just hijacked my video, bro. This is a snapper video and lobster. She specifically asked for lobster. I about killed myself catching the lobster, and all she's talking about are your scallops. So thanks a lot, bro. But that, so good, though. that schoolmaster backbone is good. Mm, this is all good. Lobster's like, good too, but scallops? I'm a sucker for scallops. Yeah. Mm -mm. This is what the outdoors and family are all about. If you want to get right down to it, what's lacking in America today is this, the family unit. And I appreciate and love you for being a part of this. And I promise you there will be more, but for today, that's all I got. Take care, God bless, and we are Aubrey. Hey, we're gone.